Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 46 second round match between Rick Reckless and his Norse and Ungern and his humans. In the booth with me is Calcium Kaz. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I forgot the yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, looking at the teams, we've got a couple of nice oofs for Rick, and that's about it. <laughs> and a decent. He's got this crazy runner, he's got a crazy leap runner. Strength yeah. 4, Bludge Leap, Sidestep, Tackle. Um, he's got an Armour 6 Berserker that just piled on. And Ungern's got a pre pretty decent human team. Not amazing, right? Only a Pommer and a Mighty Blow. Uh, but both with tackle, quite a lot of tackle, right? Four tackle overall is pretty nice. Yeah. Can a human team ever be amazing? They can be good, can't they? They can be competent. I don't think they can ever be amazing, and that's just the nature of humans, isn't it? Yes. For them to be amazing, they would need a movement 10, edge 4 or 5 catcher, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Basically, like that's what they need. They just need the ultimate stat freak with yeah, an anti yeah. one-turner and then... And then they're just amazing because then they're a crap bash team plus a natty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, and I love, you know damn well that I love humans. I've got a long standing history of humans on Fumble. Um, I love playing them, you know, because they are the average Joes, you know. So when you achieve with them, it just feels great. Yeah. But I, I personally, you know, I'm, I, I want to like, I want to sort of support Rick here, but he's playing Norse. So. You know, sod, sod him, basically. I'll try not to drop F-bombs too much, Jim, for your you uh, YouTube. But yeah, sod him. He's playing Norse, so let's hope he dies horribly and in spectacular fashion. Well, this is the great thing. You don't have to hope one way or the other, right? Either Rick wins or Norse loses. It's win-win. It's <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I enjoy the new positive Jim that's been banded around recently and that's another example of it it's no I, hey i like i like every version of jim i think every version of jim brings merit to the blood bowl universe oh, so geez. uh oh what a foul classic ungern yeah. foul there yeah. <laughs> not a gym <laughs> yeah oh and a failed apo as well brutal i thought the apo worked did it not oh, yeah. oh sorry do you know what the the share screen blinked out for a second there? I thought it was a five on the ca on the second casualty. Yeah, it was oh, a it five worked. on the first okay. one and a one on the second, or one on ah, the first right. and five on the second, My bad. whichever way it was. But that was a bit of a mistake. So I, do you know what? I, I saw the DP and I, I knew Ungern was going to foul me, in my that humble opinion, one of So the yeah. best I think Rick was a little bit quick to Rick life. was quick to operate quick. his Pommer there. You've got to be a little bit careful with Pommers, especially against coaches with a proven fouling record. Yeah, you know, 14 players. He was never going to be afraid to stick the boot in, was he? Um... No, no, absolutely not. So an Ungun is, I, I assume, will be much like me. If he sees a 42% foul or even a 28%, he's thinking to himself, one in four. I've had worse odds. <laughs> 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 which, which is the thinking of a shitter. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's 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 conducive to not great blood bowl ability, but nonetheless, you know, when it works. You're vindicated, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice foul, wasn't it? Got, got that yeah, it was. Firm off. Yeah. Pretty cool. Four. Hello, Goliath. Um, what did Rick take by way of inducements? Um, He's got a wizard. Yeah, just a wizard. He was 130 okay. TV down, so he just got a wizard. At least he didn't take an apo. I'd lose a lot of respect for Rick if he took an apo. <laughs> what, you know, taking an apo, right, is... Unless you're elves, okay, it's a stupid idea, I think. Um, I'd never take apples. And if you're Norse, it's a really, really, really stupid idea. You know? So, it's been scientifically proven that it's just ridiculous and you're a knobhead if you take apples. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for telling us what you really mean, Katsu. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling no punches. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it's just that Rick's team is just a bit rubbish, really, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, other than the nice runner, possibly the Agi 4 runner that can do a thing as well. There's there's not a lot to it, is there? Yeah. And the, like, it's wigs. There's not a lot to the human team either, but there just seems more and enough, doesn't there? Like, you know, three guard, four guard, five guard. Five yeah. guard versus two guard. Or three guard. 
This is brilliant counting with Jim. Five guard versus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've got it. I've got no idea. I'm, I'm not gonna count. It feels like the humans have more guard, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Counting is too difficult. What we really need is an arrow telling you who received and a counter of numbers of players on the field. That's that's what we need. And some kind of klaxon when it's turn 16 so you know to score uh, in case you like, you know, a dice roller and don't know to score on turn 16. <laughs> I was thinking just then that's a really good idea and then I realised you were taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, <laughs> they were all Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> suggestions. Give us our klaxon, damn it. <laughs> I forgot something once, make it yeah. so that everything has to be confirmed 42 flipping times so I never forget yeah. again. The whole interface may be utter dog shit, but I got my klaxon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like that's literally that was literally their argument as well. Like Andy Devo forgot once, so we should have it. <laughs> we should have it a constant reminder. Like not even joking. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do they like Andy anymore? After he absolutely rinsed them. <laughs> on the one world one blood bowl. I, I don't know if they do, but uh, the the person commenting <laughs> certainly did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great, wasn't it? He was angry. He was angry about the state of Blood Bowl 3, which is fair enough, isn't it? Um, and that's the natural reaction. Obviously, everyone streaming it wants it to be good. Yeah. And yeah. don't want it to be rubbish. This is one of the things they've missed, really, isn't it? With all the criticism that's been banded around it. None of us, to a man or a woman, want blood, wants Blood Bowl 3 to be crap. We all want it to be amazing. So we can invest another six years of our lives in this stupid kids game. Yeah. <laughs> It's a stupid children's game. <laughs> a stupid flipping children's game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and get on the flip train. I'm going to try and get on the Rick flip train. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm normally... I'm in, so, obviously, when I'm working and stuff, I obviously have to watch my P's and Q's. And I'm not renowned in real life for swearing a great deal. It's just, you know, calcium. It, it brings out... It's like the Hulk... <laughs> like the F-bomb Hulk or something, you know. I just I just turn into this monstrous character online. But, but recently, there's been a paradigm paradigm shift, Jim. Mr. Nice. I'm in, I'm embracing the Mr. Nice gymnast. Glorious. Wow, that was greedy. <clears throat> Classic Ungun that was a, re -roll. Yeah, I was about to say, that was Ungun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's a little bit pinned here, isn't he? Turn five, um, stuck on one side. Yeah. Difficult to keep the centre with Norse, isn't it? Because you're going to take losses during yeah. the course of a drive. So it's really tough to maintain centre pitch. I really like going centre here, though. But it's risky because oh. you've got to open with a Yeti. But I think rather than coming back and, and fouling, I think he should have switched to the middle this turn. Yeah. Uh, especially better than Frenzy trapping himself. Sorry, yeah, fr Frenzy say, opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that, that wasn't great, <laughs> but then... <laughs> yeah, I think the play was to try and cut through here. But it's just it's just horrible because you've got to make a blockless loan a block first, like to open the turn, like that's obviously horrendous. Yeah. But I feel like you're in such a situation that it's worth it. Yeah. Stand firm on big guys, it's hell of a drug, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He got the he got the foul, but got sent off. But yeah, look, looking at that, I think I think he was it was definitely right to try and, and try and cut through here. It's just just hard with hard to trust the Yeti first action. But I think yeah. I think the situation is that desperate enough that he had to like you know you look at it now. This is a successful state, <laughs> you know, of the turn, and he's just hemmed in completely and not going anywhere and getting locked out. So yeah, I think I think that's what he had to do. I would have done that foul. Um, if I was in Rick's position there, but I also don't like it a lot. I'm not a big fan of fouling when you're men down, you know, yeah. because the failure state, which is like the new catchphrase thing <laughs> kicking around right now, is you are an extra man down, aren't you? Yeah. You know, it, it, it's a pretty poor failure state. So. And it's, it's turn five and he's just like, you know, he's not left himself much opportunity to get in. And, uh,. That foul's taken him away, it's just 
all kinds of bad for getting the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I totally understand not, not wanting to trust the ogre first action. Oh, well, there we go. Pile on, gets the cars. Rick getting done a little bit here, taking two cars and a KO on the send off. Oh, wow. Ungun has only taken the send off and the KO, but of course he does have armor 7 on everybody instead of armor 8. Do we have a bit of a Rick Tato coming up here? Yeah, it does make the second GFI there. I really like making the second GFI. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I do, do not like not making the second GFI there, because everyone would have been, everyone else was able to get right up there. Very strange to not make the second GFI. Maybe he didn't want to use the last reroll, but still. Um, but yeah, in all kinds of trouble. You should have plus EV and failure state and equity. They're all good terms. They're all good terms. Terms that I will, <laughs> I will make videos on as well. <laughs> you can have defensive terminology such as uh, cover and pressure, clearly defined, so everyone will know. We can all use the same terminology when talking about Blood Bowl. It'll be great. The term, the term failure state in itself is fine. It's when some Certain certain blood bowlers say it, and you can just read between the lines when they're saying it. What they're actually saying is, I'm just making up big words because I think I'm considerably better at you in life. <laughs> that's what they're saying. And, and that's where the term failure state bothers me. A bit like kekwitty. You know? <laughs> every, time I, every time I hear certain blood bowlers say kekwitty, I'm thinking, God, you're just so superior to me in every way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not a fan of all of this that Rick's done. Like, I, I would, I was looking at this and I didn't find anything, but I thought there might have been something. And as it happened, I didn't like that. And then, it, I think it would have been better just to have done the one. Let me leap. Who takes um, leap on a Norse yeah. runner, Jim? Yeah, Who yeah. takes leap on a Norse runner? Oh, that's right, Rick, and yeah. it pays off. And that's pays insane, off. isn't it? Yeah. That's absolutely insane. And we, do you know the worst thing, Jim? We just spent the first half of that game not talking about how stupid Leap is on a Norse runner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we can't because we will look like we're bitter, toxic human beings if we do. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was unbelievable, wasn't it? But I mean, you know, he could have also just done things differently, right? He could have just he could have just one deed and then blitzed through, and, he, and you know, but but yeah. <laughs> As it happened, very good, the leap. <laughs> Just before Blood Bowl 2 was released many years ago, they thought, oh, do you know what? We haven't done the animation for a Norse runner leaping. And then somebody else said, no one will take leap on a Norse runner. And somebody said, well, one madman might. <laughs> 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 But that has given Ungern a two-turn chance, and uh, humans are nothing if not fast. So, yep, this will give him a reasonable shot to score here. Well, not necessarily. He might get a reasonable chance to score here. So Rick has decided to put his only tackler on one extreme side of the pitch. Yeah. That's a bold strategy. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, but then he's got the. But it's understandable with like the players he's got, isn't it? Because he can't really protect him. So like he's he's holding a line with sidestep, isn't he? He's holding one side side with sidestep and one with stand firm, forcing him to go through yeah. the middle. Um, but he got really lucky with the ball going there. Right <laughs> next to him. I was about to say it's paid off spectacularly because the ball has gone exactly where it needed to go for Rick. Yeah. Classic. He just blocked his own path there to get the assist in. That's probably to make the block. Probably should have done something better than that. But and he had enough movement didn't he, to get in. Yeah, yeah. No problem. <clears throat> Human catches are actually quite cool, aren't they? You know, yeah. movement eight. Once they skill up, once they get a couple of skills. Yep. Yeah, but you can't cover everywhere, can you, J5? That's the thing. You can't cover everywhere, and it's 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 harder to go the middle. It, obviously, he was down to ten men, so he couldn't cover the middle as well. If you could have covered the middle better, then it, this would have been a good defence. Um, Dimmy can't play a League of Legends tonight, Kales. That he's got to play Among Us. <laughs> well, I might join for a game of Among Us later. I, although I'm really bad at it, I'm like terrible at it. 
You're great, Haltzia. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, just got two scoring threats, so you just knock one down and, and base the other one, don't you? He's gonna he's gonna leap blitz. That's what he's gonna do. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, oh, wait, he's not even gonna leap blitz. Why is he going there? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, because it it, the surf would have been a one D, so he was leaping there for two D. No, he's got plus strength. It would have been a two D. No, oh, no, no guard assist. Guard assist, right? Okay. Doesn't even base the scoring threat. Oof. 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 That's. I mean, that is rough, isn't it? That was yeah. a rough defence there from Rick. Who's to say if it's right or wrong? But it was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, my my verdict is terrible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, I can see what his thinking was. You know, like it's a seventy-five percent leap in, and if he if he gets the seventy-five percent knockdown, isn't it? And if he gets it knocked out, you know, maybe it scatters off and it goes somewhere good for him yeah. or whatever. And you know, maybe he's got chances to. Do it, but I, I would have certainly gone for. It's gonna be amazing, guys. <laughs> I would have certainly gone for the blitzing the catcher and marking people. Yeah, you could have blitzed one catcher, you know, um, easy free dice, and then shut down the other one. Yeah. And as it is, he gets the hand off. He's he paid for it, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Forest Gum gets the toddy. He still has a wizard in hand, of course. Um, he does. Rick. But he only had 12 men and he's, he's running out, isn't he? Three players down, he's only got nine yep. on the pitch. He's running out of speedos, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Nine armor, seven players that aren't elves is a bit rubbish. Yeah. Still at eleven. Yeah, it's got his. Yeah, it's got his pommer back, Jim. So let's see if um, that lasts more than a turn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Skaven as well. I mean, got to run as elves, right? They're just, they're just super elves. He's got a blitz, boy. Howdy. Very deep kick. And quite good defense from Ungern, really holding it with the uh, stand firm. Yeah, the stand firm. Yeah. Okay, I hate that pile on because now he has to run around his own players. <laughs> yes. Because he can't run through the diving tackle. Yeah. Um, is it me, Jim, or is Rick making some pretty fundamental errors this game? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a little bit harsh. I mean, yes, he has made an absolute fundamental error. He has made the biggest fundamental error you can make in Blood Bowl. He has created a Norse team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And you called me harsh. <laughs> You're right. Harsh but fair. Um, so, yeah. You, but, yeah, I definitely liked... Uh, like, just blitz... Just, I would have just blitz with the Ulf, right? And, and then get more people through. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But the lure of the palm, Jim... Yeah, you know, you you know how addictive the lore of the palm is. Yeah, and especially for Rick, like Rick loves to high yeah. roll. Like he's all about giving himself the chance to high roll. He really enjoys that. And yeah. uh, I mean, that is why he is lucky, isn't it? Right? Do you know what I mean? Like everyone says, Rick dies and everything. He's always given himself the chance to get lucky, so it's noticeable when he is. But this is looking pretty yeah. strong for him with this guy here. Oh, oh, he's just moved him across. <laughs> what the hell is he thinking? That was the most crazy play I, I could imagine. Like I, I I did this live, believe it or not, uh, with with like uh, Space Cadet and Jack Bull and Vol Volcayo. I was I was on, so I was like, flip it, I'll go on and chat as well. And like I was like this, I was like this is looking pretty good actually. And then and then he just moved this guy for no reason. Like what the hell? <laughs> Like, what on earth? I was like, this is looking pretty stable. He's had a pretty good turn, and he just moves him away. So, like, open the floodgates. So this guy's doing he, well, never getting his armor yeah. broken, isn't he? He went full on gun. Never go full on gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was mad. And he gets punished on that KO. Very nice. 
Ungern should have appled that to win the game, I think. But yep. fair enough not, because like, you know, he's, he's already plays up, isn't he? And it's looking pretty good. Like, even with this in intense pressure, it's still relatively easy for Ungern to uh, recover, so... Maybe that was trap space, uh, letting him, letting Rick push through here. Maybe that was. Yeah, yeah, Lure, luring down one side, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's um, some 4D chess blood bowl that neither of these coaches are probably capable of this game, Jim. But you know, <laughs> I'm sure they appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> Sorry, my my mouth just spewed out. A sentence or two there without me properly engaging <laughs> my brain. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo. Amazing. Oh dear. Anyway, um. <laughs> Calcium's thoughts are his own and not endorsed by Jimmy Fantastic in any way. <laughs> We need to get Hargrim to do another Jimmy Fantastic disclaimer, don't we? The yeah. same as the Rebel one, because yeah. that was just amazing. Yeah, that was so good, holy moly. I don't know if I've got that, I think I might have that as well. I think you have, yeah. yeah well, you, you certainly had it. Views um, expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> oh, so Fireball, fireball dropped. Yeah, I, at the time, I thought this was a bit mad, but... When you think about it, he's got. Oh, it's bad because these three are over here. That, that, that's, this is the worst thing. These three goons stuck over here. This was terrible. Yeah. Rick, Rick had to not let this happen, right? And he basically forced himself by not blitzing this guy with the ulf. He should have blitzed that guy with the ulf, I think, originally. Um, but he ended up with yeah. with three players hemmed in here. Um, but he's only got like what seven players left. So you know, the idea is if he doesn't do it this turn, when the hell does he do it? Um, and you know, it's okay. He's got pretty decently lucky I guess getting two down and getting the hit on the but like you he needed any two did he did he need any two yeah any two down is pretty good isn't it which isn't terrible yeah. odds yeah um yeah. so you know but it was it was asking like just just because I hated these three were over here that's what that's what I hated about it I but I guess that he just shouldn't have had that happen anyway and he could have avoided that he went directly for the stand firm and mm -hmm. you know if we've learned nothing in Blood Bowl is that when you actually need to roll a power on a stand firm, you're going to roll a push on a stand yeah. firm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, GFI. Oh, dear, here we go. Gets, Gets him. Pow. Gets the 1D power and the scatter. And it's right next to his strength 4. I wonder if it was worth trying a dodge First, like the edge four dodge to just come stand next to make it three. Oh, yeah, make it yeah. three dice. That would be an idea. Yeah, I think it would be a pretty easy clear for Ungern though, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I mean, I guess this way you can go for the pick up with the edge four. Yeah. Rather than getting three dice on him. And he had no reroll, so that's why he didn't do the extra GFI. Yeah, I don't hate the base. The base there. Surf? Yes. I, I quite like the surf here. Um, yeah. The other people you, didn't like it, but I quite liked it because yeah, it's still You can, still, you can still recover, can't you? You can yeah. base the ball. <clears throat> no, I like the surf there. Yeah. And Some also, surfs are terrible, um, aren't they? But, you, it, you know, you, you, it gets you the blodges on the ball and everything. It's, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. isn't it, blodge stuff? Also, if Rick does manage to recover the ball, that surf strongly encourages Rick to score quickly, which is exactly what Ungern wants, isn't it? Exactly. You know, it's, yeah. So, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Blodge step, eh, Jim? It's a, hell of, it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> it really is, yeah. It's so good. Oh, 1D Blitz gets the pal. And the scatter. Where does it go? Pile on first, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops <we go. clears throat> is he given. Is Rick given. I'm going to chain there? Yep. Ah, cool. 
<laughs> when I say cool, I mean, ah, what a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not great. <clears throat> not great. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, pretty bad. <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's over now anyways, and especially with that yeah. guys. Like, Rick's taking a lot of cars here. This is, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Five cars now. Plus, plus the one he appled, so six cars he's taken total. A chain into sidestep, no less. Yeah. It's just showing off. Just showing <laughs> off. <laughs> yes, Matto, Matto the professional. So you can push him into here, but it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it does. does it? But he can leap, can't he? He can leap in the front here. Yeah, so um, <laughs> with the leap, um, putting yourself... Oh, my God. <laughs> he gets the power. And the cars. Oh, wow. So I really hate that Ungern actually sideline caged oh, there with sidestep and didn't give himself an out into the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did. He did. It's just that that, that was filled by the Yeti, wasn't it? Yeah, but he, oh, he should have seen that, shouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, are we being too harsh? <laughs> maybe a bit harsh. Maybe a bit harsh. That was an unlucky scatter for Rick, wasn't it? Like this it was one, terrible, wasn't it? This one he could have... He could have maybe picked it up and lobbed it, and this way obviously was the one that he wanted. But I mean, they weren't. The others weren't great, but this was definitely the worst possible scatter. <laughs> Never sideline cage. I mean, there's certainly a call for very, very, very sideline caging. I think Rick had to dodge there. Uh, but then you free him up, don't you? It just sucks. Johnny Five's right. In in nearly all situations, sideline caging. It's a bad idea. If you're playing elves, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> but, you know, um, so again, you know, you mentioned it earlier. Um, Rick's down on men. He's got to get rowdy, doesn't he? Yeah. So. Not a blitz there. Oh, no, I didn't blitz with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Rick Baseman. Yes, very good. So you get this. <clears throat> Stand firm, putting him on the diagonal for the leap. Yep. Very good. So he, he does. He does do some good things sometimes. Ungern. He's not always a complete loon. This is the best I've seen him play. I think ever. <laughs> oh, he can play. You know, um, he, he's proving that right now. But he he generally has a healthy dose of lunacy mixed in with his decent <laughs> play. Yes. And and of course. You know, it's like bad beats in poker. Nobody focuses on the times you win with pocket aces. You just focus on the lunacy, don't you? You focus yeah. on the... You know, because it's just more entertaining, frankly. Yeah. I didn't really like the Dodgers there because he was going to... I guess you would just punch him with a Yeti. You know, because I was thinking that's a 4 plus 3 plus, but he just punched with the Yeti. So, yeah, I guess you do, Dodge. Oh, Again, man, when you man. when you need um, when you need a power and a stand firm, you're pretty much guaranteed not to get it and fail a dodge into a casualty. Classic, <sighs> classic blood bomb. Yeah, and that's pretty much GG, isn't it? Hello, Frosty. Wow. I'll kill Z. I've been there many, many times. Last time I played in a casino, oh. first hand I got dealt pocket kings, and the flop come down um, sort of mid cards. I, I raised a guy, he went all in, <laughs> he caught a freaking straight on the river, like he had like a 10-6, disgusting. <laughs> my favourite, my favourite hand ever in, in, in poker was when uh, when I had nothing, I don't even remember what I had, and uh, and someone had aces and they like, they raised a bit, and I was on the big blind and I had plenty of chips, so I was like, fuck it, and the flop comes down like, something like, you know, 5-5-4 five, five, or something like that. And yeah. then there was like a six came out and a three came out or something. And then 
and then in the end he, he laid, like he laid it down to my bet and then this guy next to me was like full house and he just went like full house and pointed at me and I just threw over my two my two rubbish cars and I was like nearly <laughs> and this guy just looked like I'd kicked him in the balls he <laughs> was <a> poor guy <laughs> How about, the, how about this for one of the best poker experiences I've ever had? Playing with um, two of my uncles, because um, my, my family's a big card playing family. We all play loads of cards. And uh, sadly, my uncle Les is no longer with us. But me and my two uncles, my uncle Charlie, my uncle Les, uh, freeway showdown off the river. I'm sat there. I got pocket aces, ace on the flop with a pair of eights, right? right. So I got aces full. Anyway, I raise. My uncle Charlie goes all in. My uncle Les goes all in. I, of course, go all in. Yeah. So my uncle Charlie first to turn, he turns over an ace flush, right? <laughs> I'm next to lay down. I turn over my ace is full, right? And I say, read them and weep, boys. <laughs> turn them over. And then my uncle Les looks at me and goes, no, Neil, you read them and weep. And he turned over quad eights. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. And do you know what? At the time, I felt like someone had kicked me in the balls, right? <laughs> but of course, you know, in hindsight, I was I was just happy to be a part of the hand, you know. Um, but yeah, that it was insane, and I was glad I was a part of that hand. Yeah. So, uh, but I can't wait for Jim Con when we have a game of poker. It's going to be amazing. It will be. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to Jim Con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just have to work out when it is and what we're doing. Definitely, definitely. And like how to stream it as well. Yeah, we'll have we'll have a we'll have a game of poker at Jim Khan. We would like definitely would like wanna stream it, right? So uh Fault Force said he had some kind of mobile camera thing that he could oh, he could stream to amazing. a burner. <laughs> he could stream to a burner Twitch account. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be so good. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's, uh... Two one. I mean, that's it, isn't it? It was over. It was over a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we got a little bit distracted, but for good reason because this <laughs> game was done. Um, you know, Rick's gonna try the one turn attempt with his what four or five players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, if, any, if anyone's going to hit a riot, it's going to be Rick. I mean, even if he gets a riot, he's got four players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fact, the fact that the bar at the bottom left says no riot is a little bit of a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, only for us, though. Only for us, Kelsey. Oh shit! Yeah. See, this is this is this is why I've got the champion cup thing there. You see, because that covers the bar for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and the, me, gosh darn it! I gave that away, didn't I? I yeah, won't do that again. Yeah, you did. Holy yeah. cow! Flip yeah. me, guys. <laughs> Woo! That's literally why the picture of of, of yeah. the gym in the suit is there, and the champion cup is there because that covers that covers the because the, that covers the, that. Um, yeah. of which I because I'm watching the shared screen, I totally missed, and <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, there you go on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, son. <laughs> Commiserations, Rick. Thank you very much, Kelsey. I'm absolutely glorious if you could come on and do this. You're welcome. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.